of all of my shit. Ah! So what's up guys? Um Stu. I've had a few people asking me how I dyed my headlining, so obviously I can't strip the headlining out because I can't be arsed, but this is the dye that I actually used. I got it from eBay, but if you look at the bottom, it's valetorspride.co.uk. Um, it's pretty good dye. You don't even use any of this. I probably used about 500 mil, or probably about a litre. You get a little spray bottle. Probably about two spray bottles I used. So when you spray it on, you just drench it, and then you use a rag or a sponge or a paintbrush or something, and you just rub it on the roof. You end up with a nice black headliner. Like, so my fucking lens is disgusting. As you can see here, that's the headliner. So you need to get your A-pillars out, all your A-pillars do. Stick your finger in the top of them, pull them out, they slide off. Your B-pillars that are here, we've got a little cap over the top there. So you pop that cap off, undo the bolt that I think is a 14 mil. Your actual belt comes off. And then you pull the top out and the bottom slides off. It's easier if you take this off. So I'm all right, I've got uh, the back seats out. So you take your actual belt off here, they're two 14 mils, and you lift this corner up and pop it off. And then you can slide that out. Jesus sandals, you just pop the little cap out there, stick them in. Interior light, if you can see this, if I can get some light. No, you get a little mini screwdriver and you pop the lens off. There's two screws in there. This interior light, you pop the caps out. I think you do it from one end, pop them out, and then there's two screws in there that comes off. And your two rear panels, these two here, you take a Phillips out of there and a Phillips out of here where your parcel shelf sits. That comes off and then that just pulls off. And then once you've done that, this, if you've got an alarm fitted, the rear alarm box has two tabs on the back of it. You pop them out, two screws, that comes off. And then literally, once you've got all that out, you fold your headline in a tiny bit and then you can pull it out the boot. Then once you've got it, like I said, just drench it with the dye and use, I just used a rag. I did three coats, I think. Uh, it will look a bit patchy or a bit stripy, but when it's all dry and it's in the headlining, you never notice it anyway. So, I'm sorry I couldn't do a video because I actually did it during work, which I shouldn't really advertise. Um, so, I didn't really want to uh, do a video while I was doing it because I was in and out and answering phones and stuff. Anyway, you don't need to know that shit. So, that's it. That's how I dyed my headlining. Looks miles better. I would have liked to do the Jesus handles a bit better. Um, but I might try and either dye them or spray them with some vinyl spray if I can. But for now, I'll just leave them. We'll see if I can replace them with black ones or something. Oh, so that's how I dyed my headlining. Uh, did it black? It looks miles better. I've always been a fan of black headlining. Me, ST used to have a black headlining and black A pillars, and I think it looks a lot cleaner. I haven't had the car outside yet, so I don't know what it looks like outside, but probably looks fucking dope. Every week I get new parts because. It's not like I'm trying to put this turbo build off, but I'm just trying to get everything right so that I can drive it when the turbo's fitted and done, I don't piss around. So I'm gonna replace these quick latch pile of shit things with some aero catches, lockable ones. I'm gonna stick them on there, I don't know whether, yeah. I don't know which way people get put them on, I'll have a look on the, uh, I'll have a look on Google's and see how they get on. But I am after a carbon bonnet, so if anyone's selling a carbon bonnet, Give me a message on Instagram because I really want a carbon bonnet. But anyway, cheers for liking, subscribing, commenting and all that shit. I've been a stew. I'll see you in a bit.